Vegetable oil is a fat extracted from the fruit or seeds of certain plants, such as corn, canola, cottonseed, sunflower, or soybean. There are various ways to extract the oil. The method we're about to see is called cold pressing. The whole process starts with seeds. In this case, a dark variety of sunflower seed. Cold pressing yields less oil than other methods, so it's usually just smaller speciality companies that use the process. The big vegetable oil makers tend to use solvents and high-pressure, high-speed presses. That's much more productive, but it also generates heat, which darkens the oil and diminishes its flavor and nutritional value. These seeds, shells and all, will go through this low-pressure press. The temperature inside is kept below 40 degrees Celsius, hence the term cold pressed. The press operator has to carefully monitor and adjust the speed, pressure and temperature. Keeping the press cool is no easy task, given the heat that mashing seeds naturally generates. The pressing mechanism, the screw press, is made up of several sections so they can shorten or lengthen it according to the type of seeds they're pressing. One hundred kilos of seeds per hour go through the press, producing some 38 litres of oil low volume but high quality. The seed residue, called seed cakes, is later sold for animal feed. Now though, it's key to monitoring temperature. If the seed cakes are too warm, that means heat is building up and the exit opened wider to reduce the inside pressure. Once the oil is extracted, it's pumped through a filtration system. These cloth filters allow the oil to pass through with remaining seed residue being caught. The oil runs through the filters repeatedly until it becomes clear. Mastering the art of cold pressing takes a lot of experience but it results in oil that's healthier and tastier. Cold pressed oils made from other seeds pose different production challenges. Flax and hemp seeds are extremely sensitive to heat, so workers have to cool the press during the process to offset the heat that pressing generates. Canola, on the other hand, isn't particularly sensitive to heat. Nor is sesame. All natural no-preservative oils like these have to be carefully handled because exposure to air spoils them prematurely. Plastic isn't airtight, so the oils are filled into dark glass bottles dark because the oils are also sensitive to light. The bottles are sealed with flow control caps. Without preservatives, sunflower, canola and sesame oils have an 18 month shelf life. But flax and hemp seed oils have to be refrigerated and even then they go off after just a few months. But it's all worth it because they taste so much better than their mass-produced cousins.